Welcome to the Grow Your Business Cleveland video series. Co-producing and appearing in the series, the talented GYB CLE interns. Supporting sponsors include NOAC, a regional partnership of Chambers of Commerce, New Image Media, Northeast Ohio's most recognized name in video for business. In this episode, Audrey Wiggins, owner of All Together Marketing, branding strategist, and empowerment coach, gives 10 beliefs every entrepreneur should practice. After the tip, we go backstage where Audrey shares how to get back to your center, her favorite Cleveland attraction, a song she wrote just for us, and more. My name is Audrey Wiggins. My company is All Together Marketing, and I'm going to share with you today 10 beliefs that every entrepreneur should practice. And number one, and I believe this is the foundation and pivotal to the success of any entrepreneur is you have to have faith. Faith in yourself, faith in God, faith in the product and service that you sell. And pursuant to your faith, you got to trust your gut, your gut. It goes without saying that you have to have passion in your own product or service for your business, whatever that is. But you know what? You have to be passionate about and excited about other people in their business. Guess what? You're serving each other and you build each other up. And after that, you have to be able to multitask. You're going to be wearing a lot of hats unless you come out and you have a great investment, you have a full team, and even then, you know it all, which means you have to disseminate that information, delegate to others, so you all grow together and it's success in the end. It's been said that you have to be a creative thinker, and I believe that I am a creative thinker. I'm innovative, can come up with ideas and things like that, but there's more to it than that. You have to think outside the box. That's a cliche. But you have to be able to think outside the room, outside the building. If you want to grow your business in Cleveland, you have to be a creative thinker. When I was in sixth grade, yes, I was in sixth grade once. Okay. My aunt signed my sixth grade graduation booklet, and she said to do everything with tenacity plus. So you have to be persistent, tenacious, and driven. As an entrepreneur, as a business owner, you're going to have to work holidays. I love Monday holidays. Those are my favorite holidays. You get a long weekend and you get an extra day to work on your business. <laughs> and aside from, um, from working holidays, you're going to have to mine your time. Your time is a minefield. There's going to be all kinds of distractions. And my favorite distraction to hate is chatter. If I had a final or favorite core belief, it's technology. You have got to fall in love with technology. You've heard of the concept of early adopter. I'm an early adopter of technology. Love it. I'm old and I'm, and I'm hip and I'm with it. And, and you've got to do the same if you're going to be successful. Up next, we get to know Audrey. So we asked Audrey how she manages to balance her business and personal life. You know, when I think about balance, being a business owner and having a personal life, uh, most people think about being balanced means your schedule. You know, how can you get it all in? And that's just no way you aren't going to get it all in, whatever that means. So I think being um, in balance means um, taking time for yourself, you know, getting back to your center, being able to center and unplug from the business or from, you know, your work life and just enjoy some things that you have fun with, like the singing, I like music. You go to church or you like, you know, gardening. I love house plants. Those are, that's what I think about and what I do when I talk about, um, when I think about balancing the work and personal life. During our meeting, we asked Audrey what her favorite Cleveland attraction is. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. As a boomer, I love going down there, putting on the headphones and listening to all the old rock music. I'm coming up in you know, my early teens, that's when rock, to me anyway, had really started hit the scene in, um, in, the, in the States. You know, Moody Blues, Grand Funk Railroad, The Animals, oh my God, some of my favorite songs, Nights in White Satin, um, House of the Rising Sun. So I love listening to the old tunes, the old rock tunes. Audrey was so much fun. She even wrote and performed a song just for us. Of course, we just wrote this song for you, right? So grow your business, Cleveland, land what we love. That's not even the words. <laughs> I guess I'm nervous. I can't do it. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Let me do the last line because it's going to be a high pitch, too. Oh. <laughs> and grow your business, Cleveland, Ohio's for you. <laughs> grow your business, Cleveland. This is for you.
Grow Your Business Cleveland. So how did Audrey score as a Grow Your Business Cleveland expert? We gave a thumbs up for her 10 awesome beliefs for entrepreneurs, being an altogether marketer, sharing her favorite rock bands, and writing and performing our first Grow Your Business Cleveland song. Special thanks goes to our Grow Your Business Cleveland contributing experts for supporting our mission of growing business and kickstarting careers in Northeast Ohio. So don't miss a video or an opportunity to be part of the show. Subscribe at GYBCLE.com and follow us on our social media channels. And remember, if you like it, share it.